us to a place whereby we can find strength in him. We can find hope in him. The three situations that lead us to a place of uh, suffering, we said one is, is the situation whereby we are going through our own iniquities. So iniquities, the solution is simple. Go and repent. If you are a Catholic, go and confess. Uh, and you see, repentance is unto your soul turning around and saying, God, I trust you. And you can make me righteous again. And this is a free gift that hangs hung on for us on the cross 2,000 years ago. Receive it. Receive it in Jesus' name. Repent and receive it. Number two, when the devil is up against your case, it is time for spiritual warfare. Oh, my friends, I want to encourage us as we are going through this time of prayer and fasting that it is when the Lord strengthens you, please arise in a spiritual warfare. Do not allow. You know, sometimes I, I really feel for mothers when I see their children going down the drain of alcoholism, drug abuse or any forms of prostitution. I feel for those parents and fathers who have to they have given so much to their children and they go through suffering. And this is the situation. Sometimes we need to arise and fight the battle with the Lord and tell the devil that my home is no go zone. In fact, I recommend for you to go and see War Room, eh? a movie called War Room. You can search it on the internet, you will find it. Whereby the, the, this lady decides that the devil is not going to have a hand in her marriage anymore. And she puts up a fight. She chases the devil out because we have been given the authority in Luke chapter 10 verse 19. That even the serpents, we can touch them, we can step on scorpions. We will drink poison and it will not even harm us. So sometimes we Christians want to allow the devil too much space. We want to negotiate like Eve with the serpent and we know that the negotiations of the devil are not for our good but for our evil and our damage and our bringing, bringing us down. So arise today my fellow Christians, arise today my people that you may fight the good fight of faith, that you may destroy the works of the devil in your life when you see destruction, when you see your things being stolen. When you see death in your family, understand that the hand of the enemy is around you. And you see, sometimes you need to gather your military, your family, and tell yourselves that we are going to fight this thing. We are not going to allow the devil another day in our lives. We are not going to allow the enemy another day in our lives. And seek to pray. And I want to caution us. This is not about doing those two minutes prayers and you're off and you're running around. This is a, a time when, when the, you see the devil, when he attacks you, he is serious he is serious he wants to kill you he wants to destroy you he wants to take everything you have worked for for many years he wants to release every blessing from your life that you may have a name a cast you may be looked by people as an accursed person and you see if someone has such an audacity i don't think that warrants for a sit smile situation when you're fasting and praying, you need to engage also in spiritual warfare. And next week, I'm going to touch a little bit on spiritual warfare because I know we have already, we, we, we are on day 34 and we are coming to a rest tomorrow. So I want to encourage us that we may arise in a time of spiritual warfare. Fight off as we are coming to the Holy Week. Fight the good battle of faith. And you see, you have the strength. You have the energy because the word of the Lord has already said in Isaiah chapter 30 and 30, chapter 40 verse 30 and 31. Even young people get tired and they stumble and fall. But those who trust. So here another key is to trust. Trust the Lord in this season. Trust the Lord with every situation that you're going through. Don't give him some. Give him everything. Give him the whole house. Let him take complete charge. And let him do battle for you. And when the father of all creation does battle for you, the devil is a laughing stock. In fact, the Bible says that the devil, the Lord laughs at the enemy. Many are the situations of the righteous. They go through many suffering. But the Lord delivers them from them all. So deliver is coming down your way energy the lord is clothing you with energy with this remaining few days as we come into our holy week 
fight the good fight of faith. Remain with the Lord. Trust the Lord even if everything is saying nigh. You see, it is darkest when it is midnight. Just before daybreak, it is too dark. And you may think that you have an end. But I came with good news that God is lifting you to the next level. God is taking you. You see, when that stair, when you're climbing those stairs, every climb is an energy that you're using. But the Lord has given you energy, has given you the strength, has given you his wisdom, has given you the continuation spirit. So climb on, climb on, fight for your dreams, fight for your family, fight for your situations, fight for your, for your boyfriend, for your girlfriend, fight for your father, for your mother. Sometimes people around us lose the, uh, the punch, lose the energy when they are fighting the battle with the enemy because the enemy is very cunning. He understands also human beings and he knows how easily we despair. But God is gifted. I am one of the giftings of God is patience. So be patient in the Lord as you fight this battle. But the one thing is remain. Don't stop till you get a breakthrough. Don't stop till you are you get your answers to your prayer. Don't stop. And I I I I, I declare upon your life the strength and the energy. To make sure that you see yourself through every predicament that you're going through. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May Jesus himself uplift you. And when you're going through that situation, even if it's a garden of Gethsemane, I pray that the Holy Spirit, an angel, will be sent upon you to strengthen you, to give you the energy. So arise. They that trust in the Lord will mount on wings like eagles, soaring upward on wings. They will walk and run and never get weary. One of the characteristic traits of an eagle is to rise above the storm. May you arise above the storm because the energy and the strength of God is upon you. God bless you. I am Life Coach Dennis and, and we are in 40 days of Engage in Heaven. See you.